Hello, my name is Joshua. I welcome you to Reproduction in Birds. The yolk provides proteins and lipids. So we have our egg here. Let's first of all look at the different parts that make up an egg. We have the middle part. The middle part is what we call the embryonic disc. Then we have this one here, following surrounding the embryonic disc. That one is the yolk. We have a layer surrounding the yolk. That layer surrounding the yolk, we call it the egg membrane. Then we have this coiled tube. This coiled tube, we call it the chalaza. This side, we have a space. This space is what we call the air space. Then we have this area here. All this area is filled with what we call the albumen. And then outside, outside we have a cover that is covering the whole cell. That cover outside is what we call the shell. So we have the albumen. This one provides proteins and water. We have seen the albumen is the whole of this place here. This whole place, the albumen, it provides proteins and water. Then we have the chalaza. The chalaza is twisted. The chalaza is twisted It is a strand of dense albumen. This strand that we have here twisted, that one is what we are calling the chalaza, and it is a dense albumen. The embryo neck disc is the part of the egg which will develop into a chick. This embryo here, embryonic disc, is the one that is going to develop into a chick. The shell and the egg membrane are permeable to air. We have the shell is the one that is surrounding outside. That shell is permeable to air. And inside the shell, we have a membrane. Also that membrane inside the shell is also permeable to air, meaning that air can come from outside and enter into the, the cell or the egg. At the same time, since it is permeable to air entering, also air can come out of the egg 
and it goes out of the cell. Birds reproduce by laying eggs, which are fertilized internally before laying. Therefore, birds undergo sexual reproduction because they lay the egg which is already fertilized. The eggs have a hard shell and food store in form of yolk and albumin. So we say that the disc, embryonic disc, is the one that is going to turn into a chick. But this egg is surrounded by a shell. So which means that the embryo is not going to receive nutrient outside of the shell. So what is going to provide the nutrient is going to be the yolk. The yolk is going to provide the nutrients and then also the albumin. The albumin is going to provide nutrient to the developing embryo. They are laid in a nest, which may be carefully constructed structures in the bush, trees, or holes, or simply vegetation on the ground. So the eggs will be laid in an area which has been constructed properly, it can be in the bush, can be at home in the kitchen, whatever place where they have organized for the eggs to be laid. The eggs are kept warm by intubation. That is, the bird sits on the eggs so that they acquire the parent is body temperature. Intubation is raising the temperature of the eggs so that physiological processes take place inside and development of the embryo starts so that also the enzymes inside can be activated. Intubation continues for a few weeks, during which time the embryo develops and finally the young bird pecks its way out of the shell. So here we have our embryo developing. We have the embryo here developing and the sac surrounding the embryo is what we call the amnion. The amnion surrounds the embryo and protects it from mechanical damage. Then we have the allantois. The allantois, it's where we are going to keep our wastes. All the wastes are deposited into the lantois. Then we have the yolk shark. Yolk shark is the one that is providing nutrients to the embryo. And then we also have the albumin, which is also a source of nutrients. The parent birds brood the chicks 
in the nest by covering them with their bodies, thus protecting them from heat loss and rain until their feathers have developed. So when the chicks have hatched out of the eggs, the parents are going to brood them in the next to provide them with the heat and also to protect them from harsh conditions like the rain until when the chick's feathers have developed. Most birds also feed the chicks until they are old enough to fly and continue to feed them for a period even though they are out of the nest. So the birds, they do take care of their young ones. They provide them with feeds until when the chicks are old enough to fly and to feed themselves. In ground nesting, birds and some waterfall, the chicks leave the nest soon after hatching and forage for food though always in company of the parent. Those are the chicks that have been brooded on the ground or in the ground nesting or in water fall. After hatching, the chicks will start moving around looking for food. But for those that are in, bar, in trees, they don't move because they are still young. They can't get out of the net. So it is going to be the parents to look for the feeds and feed them. The yolk provides protein and lipids or Fats. So we have talked about the yolk, this area here, for it, it is going to provide fats and lipids to the developing embryo. The albumen will provide proteins and water. Our albumen, which is this one here, is going to provide the embryo with proteins and water. The chalaza is the twisted strand dense of albumen. Our chalaza is this twisted chain of albumen which connects to the yolk. The embryonic disc is the part of the egg which will develop into the chick. We have already seen this embryonic disc is the one that is going to develop into the chick. The amnion is a fluid filled sac which boils up and protects the embryo. We have seen the amnion it is filled with a fluid and that fluid is the one that is providing protection to the embryo. 
it prevents it from shocks and it also holds it in one position. The Alan toys, this one stores embryons excretory products and carries oxygen to the embryo in its numerous blood vessels. So you have the allantois, this sac here. It is going to keep all the wastes that are coming from the embryo. They are kept in the allantois. And it is also the one which is going again to provide the embryo with oxygen using its various numerous blood vessels. The yolk sac shrinks as the embryo uses up its food and is absorbed into the body at hatching. We have the yolk sac here. It's the one that has got the food nutrients. And it goes on shrinking as the chick is using up the food store. And on hatching, the sac will enter into the body of the chick. Thank you very much for participating in reproduction in birds. Please do like, share, and subscribe.